gotta see things. See new places and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget it. Hey friends, I am at Epcot today. I'm gonna have a little food and wine, lunch, dinner, whatever you wanna call it, and just enjoy the festival. So, let's go do this. But before we do that, did you know that that's an elevator? Yep, that magical mirror at the bottom of Spaceship Earth is actually an elevator shaft that takes you up to your grand miraculous Spaceship Earth. This is my first time back to Epcot since Interventions, Club Cool, and the Fountain went all closed down, and I'm a little, a little scared to see those walls up, but I'm gonna have to face them sooner or later. Well, that's not the view I'm used to. No fountain. What am I gonna B-roll now? It's not permanent, but the walls will eventually come down, and I'm excited to see how things are gonna look. That fountain actually means a lot more to me than you would think. I absolutely loved the show that they put on. And actually, in the older Epcot maps, it was actually listed as an attraction and entertainment of such. But I've said it before and I'll say it again, Disney doesn't disappoint. So, I'm not gonna linger on the past. I'm gonna head to World Showcase and get some food. One thing about food and wine though, is you find things that you really like and you want to get them. But then again, on the other hand, you might feel adventurous and you want to try new stuff and you can't afford it both. You can't afford feeling comfortable and adventurous at the same time. So I'm gonna take it very easy and look at the menu thoroughly before I just jumping on something. You know, like right now, I'm not in the mood for a mimosa. So I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna look for a beer somewhere. So, if I'm looking for a beer, I do wanna try something I haven't tried before. And that's why we're gonna try this Killian Red Ale. That sounds pretty good. I don't know how I would ever feel about the Guinness Bailey shake. Guinness and Bailey's mixed together? I don't know, I feel like it just turns my stomach thinking about it. Well, since I was gonna get the Brewhouse Red Ale, Disney recommended that I get the Irish sausage with it as a recommended pairing. So I'm gonna have to get them both. I have taken eating on a trash can to a new level. Now everybody can watch me eat my sausage. I don't know who I was kidding. That was not working. So back to the trash can. And I already took one bite. I have to say, I like it. I like it a lot. I forgot to actually grab a knife, so I'm gonna be eating this kind of awkwardly, but I mean, it, it is what it is. So in all in all, it cost me $10 for this great pairing, and I think it's a good deal because you get two sausages, which are like the size of breakfast sausages, but they don't have that breakfast taste to them, and the mashed potatoes just taste really good. I like that sausage better than my last outing where I got the lamb chop in Australia. The sausage was a little bit better. So I'm happy that I didn't go back to that lamb chop because I thought about it. I was like, oh, you know what, that was really good, so I might want to get it again, but Instead, I got something different and it ended up working out great. I decided to backtrack a little bit and head back over to Canada because oh, Canada is closed and they actually have an apple seed orchard. So a whole bunch of different types of apple cider and I'm excited. Wow, my favorite part of Canada is still my favorite part of Canada. They have some of the construction up, but look at they even added a bunch of boxes of apples over there to go with the apple cider kind of booth that they have inside, and I think that's fancy. Apple seed orchard since 1948. This has been here before Epcot even opened. Wow. 
Very pretty inside here. Reminds me of the big top. I thought that they had two separate lines, but it's actually two separate things. This side is the cider side, that side's the wine side. But I'm really not that type of wine guy. So cider it is, and it's not just cider, they have beer too. They have so many different offerings. Frozen apple pie, they have a cherry cider, what? And then of course, a bunch of different apple pie beers. I'm excited. I ran into some friends, Christina and Ears, etc. And actually, I ended up getting the flight and he just finished his flight. Well, he took a sip of each one and by the faces he made, I don't know if I'm gonna like this flight. <laughs> Most of the beers are actually apple flavored and they're gonna be on the sweeter side But I'm gonna take them down like a champ. Ooh, Titusville. That's near us. I developed this kind of Non-gag reflex when it came to beer because when I first started drinking beer I never liked beer at all. I actually hated the taste of beer So what I would do is drink it as fast as I could so I looked like a cool kid and then that way I wouldn't taste it. I got drunk a lot, but Neither here or there hmm? Oh, oh that one wasn't bad. I don't know which one that was though. <laughs> That's more like a cider. The last one's the only good one. Oh, ooh, bad aftertaste. Ooh. Yeah. The apple pie beer tasted just like a cider, but the last one, and we can't decide which one it was from. It was either MIA or Sea Dog. Well, I actually liked. So, if you do come here and you like beer, you might not like these. Huh. They're fake. Fake. You guys got any real apples around here? <laughs> so, I left the apple seed tent so that I can actually continue on, but instead of going back towards the United Kingdom way, I'm gonna go actually the opposite way and head over to Mexico since we were right there in Canada and start the whole lap. Well, as we walked past, Mexico here, I felt the AC pushing out at me and I can smell the water. So I'm gonna take a quick pick stop. Only during food and wine will you see a line for the Grand Fiesta Tour this long. And also diapers on the railing. <laughs> I'm a Donald Jack. M I C K E Y M O U S C that baby may be. <laughs> I can't leave it here. Hey, can I toss that in there? It's empty. Thank you. Just going into Mexico, just let our bodies cool down a little bit. But now that we're back out in the World Showcase, the sun went down a lot and it feels amazing. Just look at that sky. Wow. Christina got the pie pie shrimp. Or paria paria? Paria paria? I don't know, I just saw shrimp and pie -pie? I got to it. It looks pretty good though. Papaya shrimp. I want to show you guys my favorite thing about all the festivities or festivals at Epcot and that is that they take the time to decorate the little train town. Look at the flagpoles. They actually say food and wine 2019. 
How awesome is that? I was gonna try to catch the last showing of Smash Mouth, but look at the line here. And there's still a good 30 to 40 minutes before they start seating people. It does draw a big crowd. Bunch of all-stars waiting in line. Even though the line was absolutely very long, we ended up actually getting very good seats. So I'm very happy. Front row. Look at that magic. was a blast from the past. Wow, Smash Mouth. I don't think I would ever think I would see them in concert, but I did today at Epcot. Thank you, Epcot. But now it's time for Illuminations, and if you're at Epcot, this next coming two weeks, you should watch Illuminations as much as you can. Oh, it's starting. Ooh, it's starting Good right evening. now. We welcome all of you to Epcot and World Showcase. We're gathered here tonight around the fire as people of all lands have gathered for thousands and thousands of
well illuminations was great but it is so weird to be like directed to leave Epcot through this way like we're heading over to the land and I forgot that they have the whole entire fountain viewing area closed off so they have no choice but to do this but wow like I don't even hear the illuminations and the Epcot music playing wow well I think that's gonna do it for me today what a fun day here at Food Wine I had a great time smash mouth illuminations sausage and mashed potatoes and a bunch of different beers what can go wrong love the life you live we'll see you next time bye